Ellis talk show host pile on and say, oh, you shouldn't watch the coverage of Alex Jones and InfoWars.com on the Bundy thing. They're not credible. When these are literally many of these talk show hosts that I've promoted and tried to help, these people, most of them, are not involved in the liberty movement for liberty. They're involved to try to be big shots, and they're primitively competitive with anyone they see as, a, as competition. I'm not your competition, dumbass. All of you out there. This thing is real. I want the cancer viruses out of the vaccines. I want our national sovereignty back. I want the fraud to stop. I want the federal government to not be occupied by offshore banks. I want Obamacare repealed. I want to defend the Second Amendment. Do you understand? I, I want to defeat the new world order. I want liberty and freedom. I want justice. I could care less about the baubles and trappings of fame and success. I'm not in competition with any of you. I wish there were people better at this than me. I wish there were people that had courage. I wish there were people that worked hard and did research. I wish that was going on because I don't like being the very tip of the spear, always walking point for 19 years over and over again. I want to believe in humanity. I want to believe in other talk show hosts. I want to believe the only national talk show host, other than George Norrie, who, who has who had me on their show and promoted what we're doing and who isn't into some egomaniac war with me is Michael Savage. Because Michael Savage knows, and he's certainly not perfect, neither am I, that if, if the globalists win, they're going to put us in forced labor camps. You understand that's the plan of the progressive, communist, dirtbag scum? If we don't get together and come together, ladies and gentlemen, it's over. And I'll tell you something else. All these other talk show hosts, there's a bunch of them attacking me, are jealous that DrudgeReport.com links to us every day. Well, if you sent your reporters there and shot high-def video of the standoff that looks like something out of V for Vendetta, and the people climbing over the fence as the feds threaten to shoot them, and then the feds backing off with their guns trained on them, if you had that high-def video, you'd be on Drudge. In fact, I wish you would have done it. I wouldn't have had to send my reporters out there and risk their lives. Don't you get it? I'm looking for people to promote. I'm looking for people to fight with. I'm in a war. My goal is to defeat the New World Order. George Soros, the globalist, the private Federal Reserve. My goal is to get Rand Paul or Ted Cruz into the White House. My goal is to promote Ron Paul. My goal is to defeat tyranny. My goal is to have humanity survive and not blow the planet up. My goal is to stop World War III with the Russians. We're going to cover in the next segment. And then I'm going to get into the latest developments out west of the Bundy Ranch. But I see the hatred that these talk show hosts have for me. And, and, and the disinfo and all of it. And it just makes me know that either they're compromised and they've been blackmailed or they're crazy. Or they're crazy. Because I'm telling you folks, this is the time to not infight. This is the time to not snipe at each other. And I can't believe that there's been a debate on whether Bundy is right or not, even on conservative radio and libertarian radio. I'm going to talk about that coming up. If you knew the facts and if people had any basic grounding, they would know that, that this is absolute essence of liberty that we're seeing out there. Regardless, people walking up against feds who've been tasering and beating and police dogging women and, 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 and cancer victims and folks for no reason. People responded and said, you want to fight, you're going to get one, and had their guns at their sides and marched at men, pointing guns at them, saying, we're going to shoot you. That was like Tiananmen Square, but the Chinese government blinked. That that you saw is what made America great. That that you saw was 300, was come and take it, was the Alamo. That's what we're dealing with here, and that's what scares the globalists. Because if they start a civil war and we start fighting back and aren't cowards, we will win very quickly. And Harry Reid says it's not over yet because he knows that if they can't intimidate us and if they let one ant stand up, they might all stand up. Is there anything you would like to say about what's going on down south with Clive smile. Bundy and the BLM? Well, it's not over. Uh, you know, we can't have an American people that violate the law and just walk away from it. So it's not over. Yeah, I want to say something to all the neocon talk show hosts posing as libertarians out there. 
I don't want a job with the New World Order managing the population. I want a job working for God, empowering and unleashing humanity. Jessica Armand here, creator of My Magic Mud, the all-natural teeth whitener and strengthening remedy that's getting rave reviews from GCN listeners. Here's what Austin dentist Dr. Griffin Cole has to say about it. I really love this Magic Mud product. Because charcoal is so absorbent, it's very effective at taking off all the sticky plaque and debris that gets stuck on our teeth every day. I highly recommend My Magic Mud. Visit MyMagicMud.com to hear the full interview with Dr. Cole. Get your jar today. That's MyMagicMud.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carding to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Are we tra- Travel so much and having a fake TV, well, it gives added peace of mind. Burglars look for houses that appear to be easy targets, but fake TV can fool even professional burglars into thinking someone is home watching television. As a recent widow living alone, it gives me great peace of mind to set my fake TV near a window and know that passing motorists and pedestrians will think someone is home watching TV when I'm actually away from home. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet, just like a light on a timer. And they're so easy to use, you just plug them in and they're ready to go. Plus, they're so affordable that we have one upstairs and downstairs. Fake TV is only $29.95 with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Listeners of GCN know governments and identity thieves around the world are illegally spying on our digital data. This puts you at risk of financial loss or potential targeting because of your political affiliation or spiritual beliefs. But now there's a new, free, and easy way to protect yourself. Regain your privacy and security now with Unseen. Unseen is a free digital communication service that offers email, chat, audio, and video calling, plus cloud storage. All secured with unparalleled encryption and is hosted in Iceland, where your data is protected by some of the strongest privacy laws in the world. For a limited time, GCN listeners get a 20% discount when upgrading to Unseen's premium service, which offers more storage and even greater security. Plus, get huge discounts when you buy multiple premium accounts. Perfect for your family, Bible study, political action group, or business. This isn't just your average radio ad. This is a call to action. You now have the power at your fingertips to stop Big Brother in his tracks. So why wait? Go to UnseenNow.com and take action today. That's UnseenNow.com. By the way, it's not just the day that the private Federal Reserve, the big Rockefeller Rothschild banks, skim off the top to stall our economy and create poverty. Income tax day that we got in 1913 wasn't widely deployed till 1951. It's also the one-year anniversary of the false flag staged terror attacks uh, with the Boston Patsies, who are clearly double agents. The older brother on CIA payroll, on record, connected in to uh, a group run by Zbigniew Brzezinski. 
to go infiltrate, given fake names, allowed to fly by the FBI and TSA with fake names the Russians blew his cover three years ago, publicly. That's how they do it. They point out, why is this person flying with fake names? Why do you let them in? Are they an asset or are they a spy? Should we arrest them for espionage next time they're in southern Russia? That's what Russia said three years ago. Oh, and then the person magically goes and supposedly blows stuff up during a drill. See, people say, well, well how do you know it's a false flag? You can see the promotion. You can see the distraction. You can see the whole nine yards. Al-Qaeda in the Crimson Crescent, as it's known, from Eastern Europe right around through the stands into Central Asia, all the way over to China. The Crimson Crescent is publicly, 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 look it up, funded by who? The State Department, just like they funded the radicals and the George Soros groups for four years with $5 billion to overthrow Ukraine. That's not debated. They have press conferences at the State Department admitting it, but the public doesn't watch State Department press conferences. The public watches the news that goes, Russia did bad things and Russia attacked Ukraine and Russia attacked Georgia. No, Russia didn't. And Russia is a kleptocratic, mafia-run group of alcoholics on average in the government system. But I'll tell you this, they pay their people to have kids and they're becoming more of a Christian nation. They've been reforming and the globalists don't want that. They don't put cancer viruses in the vaccines in Russia. They have their top TV host that sounds like Alex Jones, who's buddies with Vladimir Putin, who they put on air, who basically will openly quotes this show on state-run media. I've never been to Russia. I don't speak Russian. I don't have any Slavic blood in me. Why is that going on? Because I've got the truth, ladies and gentlemen. And the Russians have a decision to make. What are they going to do with their people? Are they going to end Russia as we know it? Are they going to exterminate their population? Because they were already under globalist control for 85 years. And they saw their population go down by 37%. And they've already experienced collectivism and communism and progressivism, and they don't like it. Are they perfect? No, they've got a lot of ghosts and a lot of problems to kick. But they're surrounded by the New World Order, the same folks going after Bundy, the same ones going after your guns, the same ones going after your pension funds, the same ones screwing Spain and France and Greece and every African country over and Libya, the same ones trying to put Al-Qaeda in charge of Syria, the same ones that overthrew the regime and put radicals in to blow up almost all the churches in Egypt. The ones attacking the Egyptian military and then our media criticizes the Egyptian military for fighting back when their military bases are being rocket attacked by actual Al-Qaeda. The public doesn't know how the world works. That's the only reason the globalists can get away with any of this garbage. And now they're trying to start World War III with the Russians. And let me tell you what I saw in my mind's eye historically. A civil war starting once they overthrew the government, put in and installed a new government. You'd have the Russians that are about 45% of the overall country, 75% of the East. They're going to end up revolting. You're going to have an ongoing civil war. The West is going to act like Russia caused the problem when the, when the West, run by the globalists, caused it. And then you're going to have a proxy war. And the CIA chief reportedly was there last week, the Russians claimed, and that, and that he was ordering an offensive led by U.S. special forces and uh, uh, mercenaries. And our media said, oh, that's ridiculous uh, over the weekend. And then what started today? What's in Reuters? A, quote, Ukrainian offensive into Russian-held areas. That's the Reuters headline. Commanded by the Central Intelligence Agency who's about as American as the moon, about as American as, uh, as, as Swiss cheese. Russia says Ukraine close to civil war as Kiev begins offensive, Reuters. How's that? Oh, let's talk about the Malaysian plane a little bit here. The globalists want a giant war because the derivatives are coming due and the global economy is collapsing by design. But they need a war to act like the war caused it. Get it?
big fat smokescreen. I keep telling you that, and so do the analysts. We're on.